In this video, we are going to learn about market equilibrium, which is where supply and demand intersect. We've already seen supply and demand separately, but this time we will bring it all together. Let's get started. When laying out our diagram, it is important to note that price is on the y-axis and quantity is on the x-axis. The demand curve is downward sloping due to consumer behavior. And the law of demand states that as price falls for a good, quantity demanded will increase. We label it D. The supply curve is upward sloping due to seller behavior, and the law of supply tells us that as price rises for a good, quantity supplied will increase. And we label this line S. Market equilibrium occurs where supply and demand intersect. This is where the market clears. Hypothetically, this is a point of maximum efficiency where producer and consumer welfare is maximized. We'll examine why when we take a look at producer and consumer surplus in a future video. For now, I would encourage you to always label equilibrium price P star and equilibrium quantity Q star. And any changes that we make to this diagram should initially start from this point and then move forward. Market disequilibrium occurs when there's either too much supply in the market or too much demand in the market. And again, we're going to lay out a diagram to see this step by step. So we have price and quantity, downward sloping demand, upward sloping supply, and we'll put back in our equilibrium price and quantity, and we're going to make one small change here. All right, we're going to label this P star and Q star. But now we're going to increase the price from P star to P1 and take a look at what happens. So now we have what's called a market surplus. This occurs when there is excess supply. That is when quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. In this situation, some producers won't be able to sell all their goods. This will induce them to lower their price to make their product more appealing. In order to stay competitive, many firms will lower their prices, thus lowering the market price for the product. In response to a lower price, Consumers will increase quantity demanded, moving the market toward an equilibrium price and quantity. In this situation, excess supply has exerted downward pressure on the price of a product. Now, when we're trying to identify what that excess supply is, or that surplus, it's going to be calculated by looking at the difference between Q2 minus Q1. At a price of P1, quantity demanded is Q1. So consumers are only willing to buy an amount Q1, but producers are willing to supply an amount Q2. Since consumers are only willing to buy an amount of Q1, we have a surplus of Q2 minus Q1. Quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded, so we have a surplus. And as mentioned before, to get this to clear, price has to fall. Let's take a look at another situation. This is going to be a market shortage. And this is when quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied. The previous situation occurred at a price above market equilibrium. And we're going to take a look at this situation at a price below market equilibrium. So we will put P1 below P star and take a look at what happens. So now we have a market shortage, which occurs when there is excess demand. That is, quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied. In this situation, consumers won't be able to buy as much of a good as they would like to. In response to the demand of the consumer, producers will raise both the price of their product and the quantity they are willing to supply. The increase in price will be too much for some consumers and they will no longer demand the product. Meanwhile, the increased quantity of available product will satisfy other consumers. Eventually, equilibrium will be reached. And to calculate that shortage, we need some information from the graph that we can gather from the supply curve and the demand curve. If we take P1 across to supply and drop down, that tells us our quantity supplied. So at a price of P1, suppliers are willing to provide Q1 goods to the market. However, consumers have a quantity demanded of Q2, and they're only able to buy a quantity of Q1. So the shortage at that price is a difference between Q2 and Q1, whatever that excess demand is. And as mentioned before, in order to clear this market, the price would have to rise. 
So in order for the market to clear, price has to go up.